The same, if not more, caution should be exercised when operating a moor as driving an automobile. The reason for the caution is quite obvious. Moors are dangerous if you don't follow proper procedures and safety rules. When you do follow the rules, moors are great labor-saving devices, and they are safe to use. Most safe operating rules and instructions apply whether you're using a riding moor or a walk-behind moor. The minute you stop following safety rules on either equipment, that's when you're ready for an accident. Let's take a look at some of these safety and operating rules, beginning with the operator's manual. That's right. Read the operator's manual thoroughly, as it addresses the use and reasonably foreseeable misuses of the machinery. The manufacturer knows the machine better than anyone, and they have many years of experience and knowledge to provide users. The operator's manual provides safety, operating instructions, and the equipment's capabilities and limitations. Next, you need to know how to stop your machine in case of an emergency. No matter who manufactured your moor, there's an emergency stop on the equipment, and that's the first thing you need to learn. The emergency stop can be a blade brake clutch or an engine kill. Before operating your equipment, you need to know which system your moor uses and that you know how it works. If you have a blade stopping clutch and it's not working properly, don't operate the equipment. Get it repaired or replaced. Never use a defective moor. Guards, shields, deflectors, and warning decals are on the machine for your protection and that of others. Do not remove or disable a safety feature just because it seems to be an inconvenience. That's dangerous and a very serious safety violation. If a safety feature should be lost or damaged or a decal should become illegible, discontinue use of the moor until the damaged or missing parts are repaired or replaced. The deflector on side discharge moors and the discharge chute guard on front discharge moors are designed to direct thrown objects downward into the grass. They also help prevent accidental contact with the blade. Do not remove or disable a deflector, shield, or guard. Do not operate the moor if the deflector is in any position other than the normal operating position. Raising, removing, or repositioning the deflector for any reason is almost asking for an injury. Further, be certain no persons or pets are in the vicinity of a moor when it is in use, as a thrown object which hits a sidewalk, driveway, or other hard surface can ricochet upward or outward. These thrown objects can be as deadly as a gun, so be especially watchful if anyone is in your mowing area. Stop moving if a person or foreign object appears in your mowing area. This is the only sure way to avoid possible injury to that person or damage to objects in the cutting area. Do not operate a rear bagger or a mower with a mulching attachment unless the discharge door is closed or the bag, mulcher plug, or side discharge attachment are properly secured. Check the grass catching bag frequently, as it is subject to deterioration. If it is worn or damaged, replace it with a new bag. A hole or a weak spot in the bag could allow a foreign object to be thrown into the operator's position or the surrounding area. If you notice damage to the moor, such as loose screws, missing bolts, broken parts, or anything abnormal, stop the engine, wait for all moving parts to stop, and correct the condition before you resume mowing. Check all parts periodically for wear or deterioration, and replace as required with the manufacturer's recommended parts. Manufacturer's parts are designed and tested specifically for use on their products. If a part on your mower must be replaced, use a genuine manufacturer's part. The mower blade rotates at an extremely high speed. It is shaped to create an upward draft under the housing, a vacuuming action, to stand the grass up for a cleaner cut. Because of this, the blade can pick up debris such as small rocks, wires, and broken glass, and throw it out the discharge port with considerable force. The operator should use extreme caution to minimize the risk from these thrown objects by taking these precautions. Before starting the mower, walk around the area and pick up any rocks, wires, sticks, and other objects that the blade might pick up and throw. Be especially careful about this procedure as it could prevent a serious injury. Remember, once an object has been thrown and caused injury, it is too late to think about what should have been done. Keep everyone out of the area being mowed. If someone enters the area while you're mowing, turn off the mower and wait until he or she leaves the area before restarting the mower. 
never cross driveways or paths with the blade rotating. The blade can pick up and throw gravel or loose rocks. Look three to four feet ahead of you while mowing to help identify any potential problems. Dress for the job of cutting grass. This means substantial shoes or boots, but do not wear sandals, tennis shoes, or other similar footwear. Wear full-length trousers. Never mow barefooted. Be aware that loose clothing or dangling jewelry can become entangled in moving more parts and lead to an accident. To be properly dressed for the job, goggles or similar eye protection is recommended. Some type of head protection should also be worn when mowing on golf courses. Give your mowing operation your full attention and full use of all your faculties. Do not operate a mower when under the influence of alcohol, medication, or other mind-altering substances, or if you feel especially depressed, tired, or angry. This includes the use of over-the-counter medications that make you drowsy or tired. Avoid distractions such as earphone radios. Stay alert and devote your full attention to what you are doing and to who and what is around you. Mow across an incline with a walk-behind mower, up and down the incline with a riding mower. Follow precautions outlined in the operator's manual when filling the mower tank with gasoline. Do not smoke while filling the fuel tank. Do not fill the fuel tank indoors or while the engine is hot or running. Wipe up any spilled fuel before starting or restarting the engine. Don't spill fuel on the grass because the gasoline can kill the grass. Store gasoline in a container with an approved safety container with UL, FM, or CSA labels. Never fill a flammable container more than three quarters full as gasoline expands in heat. Store gasoline only in approved flammable liquid containers and cabinets. Always fill gas tanks outdoors. Wipe up any gasoline spills immediately. Never smoke while filling gasoline tanks and to refuel, disconnect the spark plug wire and let the engine cool at least two minutes. Gasoline spilled on a hot engine could cause a flash fire or explosion. Don't leave a mower unattended while running. In recent years, the industry trend has been to mulch or recycle clippings. However, if you do use bagging equipment, don't clean the grass chute or remove the grass bag while the engine is running. Don't attempt to lift or repair more with engine running. Don't bypass the engine safety shutoff bail bar. It's there for your safety. Don't pull a walk behind more towards you. Don't mow an incline that's too steep for balance and control. Do not mow in reverse. Do not mow in reverse unless absolutely necessary and you are certain no one is behind you. If you must back up, disengage the blade and look behind you and down before and while you back up. Use care during slope operation. Reduce speed on slopes. If possible, make turns on level ground at the top and bottom of the slope. Watch for holes, ditches, and embankments into which a wheel could drop, causing you to lose control or even tip over. Do not change direction suddenly. Do not pop the clutch. Keep the riding more in gear when on slopes, so the engine can function as a brake. Use a gear low enough that you won't have to stop and shift down on the slope. If the tires slip, the slope is too steep. Disengage the blade and move slowly straight down the slope. Mow up and down on slopes over five degrees, never across the face of the slope. Remember, we said on operating a walk behind mower on a slope across the face of the slope. Never operate a riding mower on slopes over 15 degrees. When operating a riding mower on a slope between five and 15 degrees, back up the slope with the blade disengaged and mow down the slope. Keep in mind that if your mower has a rollover protection bar or device, it also has a seat belt. In this case, wearing a seat belt is mandatory. Caution. If there is any doubt about tipping or losing control, stay off the slope. When using a grass bagging attachment, remember the weight of the grass in the bag affects the stability of the riding mower. If in doubt, do not mow on uneven ground. Saving yourself time by operating in an unsafe situation could cost you life or limb. Certainly follow your organization's maintenance procedures, but here are a few tips on more maintenance. Check oil regularly. Add oil as needed. Change oil after 20 to 25 hours of use. Clean air cleaner elements at least every three months or 25 hours of use. Keep dirt and debris off the engine to avoid overheating. Keep the cutting blade professionally sharpened. 
dull blades are more dangerous. Regularly check to be sure all nuts and bolts on the equipment are tight. An experienced service technician should give your mower a seasonal tune-up and safety and maintenance inspection. Always store equipment in sheltered area to prevent water and fuel and rust on the frame. Use fresh fuel in a clean, approved container. It's a good idea to keep fuel fresh year-round with a gasoline additive to prevent gum deposits in fuel system parts. Check engine oil level before each use. Check engine oil at intervals outlined in your engine owner's manual. Always change the oil at the beginning of the season. Make sure all screws, bolts, and other fasteners are secure at the beginning of each use. When storing the mower for extended periods of time or over 30 days in duration, fuel fuel tank with a fuel treated with a gasoline additive to prevent fuel system and carburetor gumming. When storing the mower for 30 days or more, be sure to disconnect the negative battery cable from the battery terminal on units so equipped. On mowers, be sure to check the belts at least monthly. Do not leave the blades engaged on riding mowers or tractors while the mower is stopped. This stretches the belt and decreases the belt life. Well, we've covered a lot of information, but probably have neglected to mention a hundred other safety rules relating to operating mowing equipment. If you're not sure about something, ask your supervisor, because your safety is of paramount importance. Read and learn both the operator's manual for each equipment and your company's policies and procedures. It can save your life. Thank you.